What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. If you like today's video, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. All right, so yeah, we basically just have a uh, high oak house. I didn't really know what else to call it. To me, this looks like those old school, like uh, those diver, those like scuba gears that they used to put on. The divers back in the day that they would attach like the, the line coming out of their head to the boat. Um, so that's kind of what I designed that around. Uh, the inside I left empty. It's up to your imagination. Uh, just I had a lot of materials and I did not want to uh, make this video any longer than it needed to be. All right, so well, yeah, let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need. Either pause it or take a screenshot. I will just showcase a couple things really quick. These are pressure plates, so they're two spruce pressure plates. Um, these are moss blocks. If you don't have them, if, if this happens to come out before the 117 is fully released or you don't have the beta, just go ahead and use grass. That's fine. Uh, I just really like the way they look. Uh, you can use any of the flowers. I'm just using red tulips, pink tulips, orange tulips. Put whatever you want. Uh, campfires, you actually need 14 of them. Uh, they just don't stack, so I can't fit them. Uh, this is dirt, so it's 64 dirt. It's just basically a junk box. You can fill things in. And this is rooted dirt. Again, if you do not have the 117 update, I would say go ahead and use coarse dirt because I really don't want it to be grass. Um, so just go ahead and change it out for coarse dirt. Or if you don't have that, you could just use regular dirt and let the grass grow. Okay, uh, this is trap doors. So these are uh, 38 spruce. These are 24 oak. So let's just start building. Here is uh, the actual dimensions of it. I put 11 by 17. I meant 17 by 11. It's 17 going this way. So 17 across and 11 going back. Okay, at its highest, it is 15 and a half blocks. So you need 15 and a half from the ground and then seven, uh, 17 by 11. Okay, so if you plotted your ground, right, the 17 going across, this bottom left one, you come up diagonally, and this is gonna be oak log. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. You're gonna come over four from that, so one, two, three, the fourth one over, you're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can just connect this to that, okay? Uh, so if so that nay of that, so if you come over three, you can break that block. You can put down cobblestone because that's what the floor is going to be on the inside, and you can actually put down your oak door to start. Okay, you come over another three, so one, two on that third one. We're going to come up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to connect this going across. Again, one, two, three on that fourth one. And you can come up four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then connect it. Now the back is going to be a duplicate of the front minus the door. So this is going to be four, seven, seven, four. It's the same thing. Oh, and again, so if we're looking at it from, if you don't, just in case you don't plot your ground, from this first one that we did right here, you're going to come across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On that eighth one is when you're going to come up. Now we're just going to connect the sides. Okay, let's start doing the front. So right over here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build up a little square, okay, on uh, on both sides. Again, we're gonna do the same thing on that on that back, those um, the two back corners as well. Now both of the sides, we're just going to go across like that, come up like that, cross like that, come up like that, and then we're just gonna skip two. So one, two, and then put one there. Same thing on the other side. Now the front, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up like this. Okay, and then we're going to run all the way across the top of the door. We'll do the same thing on that side. Run it from the door all the way up, like this. Okay, just like so. Perfect. And for the back, it's basically going to be uh, the same thing as the front. A little bit different, but similar. So we're just going to come up here, run across, run it like that. Put that there. Now we're just gonna fill all of those holes all the way around in with uh, glass for the windows. Now we're gonna take our oak wood stairs and what we're gonna do is on each of the corners, we're gonna go uh, regular stairs on the bottom, upside down stairs on the top, but we're also gonna do it on the ones that go seven high that we did in the beginning. Okay, we're gonna run it across like that. So we're gonna do the same thing on the back and then the sides. Okay, just to lighten the load in your inventory, why don't you just come inside here and just fill the whole ground up with all the cobblestone. Okay, for the front, again, if you have the rooted dirt or whatever dirt you're deciding to use, just run it across there. Then we're gonna take our spruce fence, put two up on each side of the door, and then run our spruce, whoops, run our spruce wood slabs just like that. Now we're gonna take our oak trap doors and in between all, all of the stairs that we, that we just put before, even the ones right here, 
we're just going to go ahead and take some oak trap doors. So again, do that all the way around wherever you have the two stairs in between. All right, now around the sides with the rooted dirt, we're just going to go two. Okay, do that on both sides. And then for the back, all we're going to do is we're just going to put one like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to find the windows in the front. On the two highest windows, we're going to put a um, spruce fence right in the middle. On top of that, we're going to put a spruce pressure plate. And underneath, we're going to put a lantern. And we're going to end up doing the same thing on the back. Find the two highest windows, lantern, and pressure plate. Okay, now for the front, again, if you have the moss blocks, this is where you'd use them. Okay, you're going to run the moss blocks there. We're then going to take our trap doors, which are uh, the spruce ones. We're going to put them here. We're also going to take spruce trap doors and see where this oak planks are. We're going to put it on the top, okay, just like that. And then for this part right here where the, um, where the two stairs are, we're just going to run slabs across the top, kind of just giving a lot of definition to that, to those windows. Okay, and then what I did is I put orange on the two ends, and then I put pinks on the two closest blocks, leaving the window open. And then, which I forgot to add here. By the way, I apologize. I think I accidentally added too many, so hopefully I can remember to take that out in um, the description in the beginning. And we're going to go one, two, one, two, just like that with our oak fence. All right, now the back is actually going to be the same for each of these little sides, so I'm not going to... Uh, redo, redo those. You can just do them the same as we did the front. But the middle part right here, we're going to put down, again, we're a moss block. We're going to do spruce wood stairs there, spruce wood stairs there. We're going to do spruce trap door. And then what I did was I did the red tulips here. So the, these two are the exact, done the exact same way that we did the first one. Okay, now let's go to the sides. So for the sides, what we're going to do is find that middle where, we, where there's no glass. And you're going to take your spruce wood, or you're going to go up three just like so. We're going to take our trap doors, put them on those top of the oak blocks, just like that. Okay, we're going to put our stairs going this way. You're going to put whatever flowers you have right there and right there. Again, I like the tulips. And now we're going to take seven campfires. You're going to need seven for each side. That's why I said 14. And I like to turn it because if you put it this way, you have that, um, that like, uh, I don't know, this dark gray color here. Okay, it looks like stone. I like to put it sideways, all right? So sideways, so it's all just wood, and then you can just take a shovel. That's why we have the wood shovel, and just go like that. Okay, do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spruce wood slabs, and just on the corners, in the front and on the back, okay, right here on the stairs, we're gonna place some. And then we're gonna go diagonal, and then we're gonna go all the way across, so on top of where we just put those campfires. Now on all the four, corners here what we're going to do is we're going to see where, see where we have the, the the first slab that i told you to put down go diagonal go one two three with your spruce wood planks go up three there and then walk it down okay so it's going to look just like this on this side so it'll be one two three one two one same thing on the other side before we do anything else what we're going to do is right from the front we can also do this on the back this top left plank we're going to take oak wood slabs go one two three three all diagonal and then just back down diagonally do the same thing on the back now what we're going to do again we're going to take our spruce wood planks and from where the logs are we're going to go all the way across and then we're going to run slabs all along the top as well do the same thing on the back okay so now what we're going to do is see how we have the front here we have we have we also have it on the back too but we have this slab the oak slab we're going to skip a half a space using our our spruce wood slab we're going to go there and then put one up okay then we're going to come uh, out and down and out and down and out and down, out, down, out, down. And then this one right here is the only one that doesn't have it besides the corner. So we got the corner and then we got one up and then everything else gets doubled up. We're going to do the same thing on this side and then the entire back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up over here. And again, we have the logs. All we're going to do is we're going to take our spruce wood stairs. We're going to go across with it here. Okay. And then you're going to... Just connect all of these spruce wood planks inside here. Okay, so run them off like that. Now the stairs are gonna go up four layers. So we got one, then we got two. Obviously you don't put them on top of the slabs. Then we got three layers, and then we have four layers. You'll know that you'll know when you're finished because you're gonna hit the, the block before the slab. Okay, now we're gonna take our spruce wood slabs and we're just gonna fill it. See where the, the logs are, right above the logs on those spruce. 
you're just going to connect this going all the way across okay and then we're just basically going to do an outline with our slabs we're not going to cover the whole thing so we're just going to go from here to here and then the same thing on the opposite side leaving a nice little square okay it's actually a rectangle but we're going to start from the front and all we're going to do is actually going to come up five so one with our uh, spruce wood planks one two three four five okay you're going to go across like that and you're going to go one two three four i think i already had one and like that so you want this to be five going all the way around make sure you bring up this one layer and then you connect it here now i don't know if i added enough dirt but you can just cover most of the middle with dirt uh, we are going to add some some light to it okay but you can just go ahead and cover this all in here even out to here actually with dirt so the second layer right here can be dirt just leave so like all of this and this okay okay it should look just like this nice and solid all the way around you can go ahead and break the middle on the front and the back and then on the side we're actually going to break the three out and i realize that we do need the spruce fence so we're, we're okay with the spruce fence okay just like that cool now what we're going to go ahead and do is just go around it with our oak wood we're going to put our spruce fence here and then we're going to put our oak fence right in that right in the middle on the side okay and then the sides are the same they're just rectangles and then we're going to go there and there and again we're going to run our spruce fence there okay so do the other side and the back the way that i did them okay now we're going to come back to the top and we're just going to make another level up okay again just take the dirt for filler you don't want anything spawning in there and then right on top just like that okay then we are going to take our stairs our oak wood stairs and we're going to go one two three again we're going to do that all the way around except on the sides we're just taking from the middle so it's going to be right from here that middle one one two three okay I, i'm not even going to cut away because it's just really fast one two three like that and then we're going to take our slabs and we're going to go one two three and then one more in the middle so it kind of kind of picks up all right and then the only thing left for us to do i believe is just add our flower pots to this middle one right here okay and you can do that going on the front and the back and your build will be done so let me know in the uh, in the comments what you what you think of the build and what you're going to use it for because i think it's i think it's uh you know i think it's a pretty pretty nice looking build to fit anywhere in your world and you know the inside is fairly large it's one of the larger well, larger spaces you could dedicate a couple rooms you could do one room here one room here and then like the middle can be like an entry point so yeah there's there's quite a few things if you really wanted to you can actually you know put a ladder or something um i think you can see if you can do this safely you might be able to do something where there's like a little attic space that you can get to uh, I don't know how close, or definitely in the center, but I don't know how close to the wall it is there, but you could play around with that. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.